Is it better to be a software engineer, a programmer, a developer, a coder, however you want to be classified, or is it better to be in software sales, an SDR, BDR, account executive, enterprise software seller, regardless of the path you choose, and we're going to talk about each here today, working in the technology industry is clearly the most disruptive, innovative, exciting, lucrative industry to be in because you're changing the way in which people work, live, experience life. Digital transformation is really something that's impacting all of us. So you will either be the person building, designing products or taking products to market in the form of sales. In this video, I'm going to break down how do you become an engineer? How do you become a software sales rep? And then really my perspective on this. Clearly, I chose sales. That's how you guys have come to know this channel. We make videos each and every day talking about all things software sales, promoting, finding more success. So make sure to subscribe to the channel now if you're interested in all things working in tech. And go ahead and hit the like button below if you hope to be or if you already are an engineer or a software sales rep. When we look at how do you become each, let's start with software engineer. Most likely, you need a bachelor's degree. This is a question I get all the time, regardless if it's sales or engineer. Trent, do I need a degree? What if I don't have the right background? Most promising tech companies require a bachelor's degree. Whether that's right or wrong, that's just the reality of the job marketplace here today. There's so many qualified candidates out there, so you not only need that piece of paper, you also need an X factor, and we'll talk about that later in this video. But when we think about how do you become a software engineer, you most likely need to get a bachelor's degree in some sort of computer programming, computer science, IT, somewhat related field. And then you start to need to know how to actually develop on JavaScript, HTML. I don't, I don't even know. I try to make a blog in HTML. I don't even know. I'm not a coder myself, nor have I ever done it. So I can't really speak too deeply to that. But I know that based on the engineers I know at my company is that it's a super remote friendly job. You got to have a nice pair of headphones. You got to have a cool keyboard. You got to have at least two monitors with a lot of different fonts and a lot of different colors on them. And you become an engineer and your entire job is to develop code, to write it, to check it, and develop the systems and applications that power the software and the technology that really change the way in which we work and live. Whether it's a SaaS company like I work for, software as a service, you are writing codes and scripts and product innovations. You're checking the code and you're making sure that the product is the best user experience and provides the most feature functionality robustness for the end user and customer so that they can recognize value from the system. A software engineer is really important and the parallel I like to share is think about Silicon Valley, that show. It's a lot of fun to watch. And for long periods of time, you sit behind a computer, you're typing away, and you're making things happen. I don't actually know what that process looks like. I should probably get someone from engineering on the YouTube channel. So if this video gets 50 likes, I'll actually reach out to someone in my company and bring them on for an interview to talk more about day in the life of a program or engineer. When we think about software sales, that's what I do. I graduated from Ohio University with a general business degree. A lot of people say, Trent, what degree do I need to get into software sales? You just need a general business degree. You don't need anything special, anything fancy. I see a lot of people with English degrees and just random um, political science degrees end up getting in sales. It doesn't really matter. You don't always actually need a degree to get in sales and software either. Bartenders, people from the hospitality space, oftentimes can get opportunities because all you need to be able to do is talk to people. And when we think about some of the key differences, if you want to work in tech, that's box number one, which you should want to work in tech because that's where all the best jobs are gonna be in the future. The next box is, am I more technical or am I a little bit more charismatic? Am I a bit more articulate? Because being able to design and create a product is really important because the leverage that's created through technology is ultimate leverage, it's unlimited scalability. So the fact that you can sit behind your computer, write, code to tell a computer what to do can change the world and can impact millions of people. Whereas as a salesperson, you're a little bit limited because you only can talk to one person at a time. You can only talk to groups of people at a time, but ultimately being able to articulate a vision, share value is really important. As we think about Warren Buffett, one of his key things he says is investing in myself, Dale Carnegie course, not only having ideas, 
but learning how to express them and articulate them. I think a lot of engineers lack that, whereas a lot of salespeople, that's what they do well, but a lot of salespeople then lack that super technical knowledge that you sometimes can, can, can compensate for. But in software sales, I love it. I've been doing it three years. I started as an SDR. I worked my way up to an account executive, which is my position now. I started out making 50 grand a year, age 22, right out of college. Now at age 25, I'm making over 130 grand a year selling software. So it's incredibly lucrative. I enjoy it. It requires a lot of adaptability because things are always changing because these engineers are saying, hey, we've got to make new products, we've got to make new features, and you've got to be able to understand them. And how does that fit in the context of the marketplace and really what you're trying to do and accomplish? So regardless of the career path, I, I think they both have a lot of upside. Software developers, it's no secret. That's one of the most sought after jobs in the marketplace right now that employers want. Every company needs developers. Every company needs coders. So if you want to get in that path or if you're in that path, your skill set is in demand. It's a hot skill right now. There's no secret about that. And some of the most successful people in the world, Mark Zuckerberg, coder, he was able to build the product and there's so many others. So it just shows that if you start with that technical knowledge of knowing how to code, you can actually build a product, build a company, and then you could actually learn those skills, um, articulating value and, and charisma. You can, you can learn that. Whereas starting in sales, you can't necessarily learn that as later on. So honestly, if I could go back, I would probably be an engineer. It's not like it's too late for me to go learn how to code and, and, and do these JavaScripts and, and, and whatever. Um, but, but if you start with that earlier, that, that I think it'd be better. When I look at it from the lens of, of just career advancement and promotion, I see a very clear path in sales. You get paid based on performance and you get promoted based on performance. So if I go out and hit my number, if I'm consistently providing positive outcomes and achieving quota, I can move up the ranks, eventually become a leader. And you see this all the time, people going from a team lead to a regional VP of sales to a director of sales to then a chief revenue officer, to then CEO. So there is that clear career path and trajectory in sales. Whereas programming, I can't really speak to that career path. I don't really know the levels, but I know that there's a lot of CEOs that are more product focused, who are engineering background, more technical. And there's a lot of CEOs that are more sales focused, come from that background as well. So <clears throat> I think both are super viable. It just comes down to, are you more technical? or are you a bit more of a, a BSer and, and you just like to talk and, and, and charismatic? So that's really important. Those are a lot of factors to consider. Both paths pay really well. Both paths are incredibly in demand. And if you have those skills or if you wanna learn them, the time is now. You don't need to pay for some expensive boot camp. Just start doing it. Just go find your job. And next thing you know, you'll be making money and you'll be making videos like this and uh, we'll all be successful in technology as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like on this video below. If we get 50, we'll bring in an actual engineer. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.